Hello, and welcome to this video for Blackboard Learn. Today I'm going to talk about a couple different things importing in a test that you already have and maybe reusing some questions inside of Blackboard to create a new test. Right now I've created a test inside of Blackboard, we covered this in a different uh, video, and uh, test game is test 2. And we have all our create questions, we already went through that, but you also see that there were two other ones off to the side, and one of those was upload questions. And so what you might think in that sense is, great, oh man, I already have a test created in Word or something like that that I've been giving to my class, let's upload that baby. Well the problem is that Blackboard needs to see your test questions in a very specific way. So if I hit upload questions, it's going to say, do you have a, uh, a file to upload? And you'll say, well, I don't really, okay, um, I'll just, uh, I'll upload my Word file, right? Like that's, and it'll figure it out from there. Well, if you click over here at more help along the top, what this is going to show is this is going to give you the file format rules for how you need to format your uh, text file, basically, that you're going to give Blackboard. So I'm going to show you a couple of the file format examples. Like, let's say you were going to do a multiple choice question. You would have to write MC and then hit a tab and then question text and then a tab and then the answer text and then a tab and then correct or incorrect you would write correct uh, or incorrect and then a tab and the answer so you can see how y you can't just write a, or have a word document with your test how you would normally see it if you were printing it out and expect blackboard to be able to see it and in fact i would not even use this uh exam unless unless you don't have access to a, a program called Respondus that I'm going to talk about in a minute. Unless you don't have that, I would suggest not using these because I have found them to be unreliable. So how you can do this is there's a program called Respondus and uh, we do have a copy of that at the ITC. You can come by and uh, we can upload your file to Respondus and what that does is that uh, gives you a zip file that you're going to browse to and be able to import into Blackboard and it will work great. And now, Respondus also has a way that you really need to format your text uh, for it to be able to be recognized by Blackboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to that uh, in the uh, description of this YouTube video and also into the module if you're doing this on the uh, self-paced Blackboard course. And uh, you'll be able to download those and really understand if you're going to create a matching question or an essay question, how you're going to need to format that. And then if you want to come into the ITC, uh, we can help you import that in. So I just wanted to make sure that when you see upload questions, it's going to be a little bit harder than it seems. But uh, the other thing I wanted to go through is reuse question. And what reuse question is, is really about um, making pools of questions or reusing questions that you've already used inside of your Blackboard course. So sometimes uh, book publishers will give you sets of questions that you can use inside of Blackboard, which is great. Or if you just created lots and lots of tests inside of your Blackboard course, you can start reusing some of those questions that you've used, or even uh, uh, make new tests out of different groups of options. So so what we're going to do, I'm not going to go through all of these, but I am going to hit find questions. And what that's going to do is that's going to bring up all of the questions that have been used inside of my Blackboard. And what you can do is any pools that you have, see here's all my tests, so I'm going to select all of these. So it's going to show all the t questions that I have in all three of those tests. Okay, I only have those two questions. You can also select different categories, like if I had broken those up by keywords, I can say only show me ones on the solar system, or only show me ones on the skeletal system. You can also do uh, levels of difficulty, and all of those different things, topics. So adding those different keywords and stuff to your questions can be really helpful if you're going to have lots of them. And then all you would do is you would just select which ones you want to add to the test, and hit submit. Now it'll add those two questions uh, to my test. So you can see how you can pick and choose different ones. Now, the other options here are we can create a question set or create a random block. What that does is that take pools of questions and you can just say, I wanna take 20 or so questions from that pool and uh, randomize them and spit them out so that every student gets a different one. I'm not gonna go through all those random block and question set uh, options because maybe we'll save that for the advanced section. But I just wanted to let you know that you can use reuse questions inside Blackboard. You can upload questions, uh, but there are little caveats that you have to remember. So thank you for watching this video on Blackboard Learn.